This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, so as I understood that uh, you are working uh, in some project and there is some FICA requirement, so you want to learn yeah, it, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Got okay. So, okay, so I hope you you aware about the contents which I shared yesterday. So this will be the your training content. Okay. for FIC. So in so throughout the training uh, we will cover this topic one by one like what is mm -hmm. FICA. Mm -hmm. uh, basically we will understand what is utility and then FICA. Okay. Uh, what is the concept and logic behind FICA module, the technology, mm -hmm. the mass processing and master data. So these are the okay. basic core components for uh, FICA module. So mm -hmm. th this is very important topic and uh, for every FICA candidate who wants to learn FICA, he should be strong in these concepts. Okay. After that, we will go through this document structure. Mm -hmm. uh, how the the posting documents looks like how it integrate with journal laser what are the gl accounts and account balance display okay. so by going through the content you can understand few things like these these things we are using on the daily basis like uh, yeah. transactions journal lasers okay payments mm -hmm. as a bcom mcom student you can understand something right what is the yeah, yeah. Uh, their account tax determination so yeah. these all are gen, uh, real time terminology and uh, we will see how these are reflected into the system we will try to mm -hmm. understand that okay. so you can see like payments payment runs return processing clearing control installment plan account maintenance document transfer so these are the content for that uh, uh, FICA training. In the last section, we will understand the integration of FICA module with other SAP module. So okay. I think you know something about SAP, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. So you know that SAP develops the ERP software and this ERP software is widely used for the, the companies across the tech sectors like utilities or, or normal mid-size organizations, medical mm -hmm. organi organizations, telecom organizations, electricity, or normal, any industry you take, where the financial transaction take place, the ERP mm -hmm. uh, comes into the picture. So okay. this FICA generally deals with the finance uh, thing of uh, uh, SAP uh, ISU. So ISU is not... Uh, is not only FICA, ISU has different modules like billing, device management, CRM, and in the last it comes FICA, and then okay. general laser account. So FICA, whatever the financial transactions take place, suppose any invoicing happening, it will record it into the FICA module. And from their mm -hmm. subsequent process, like on the basis of invoices, you are going to receive the payments or you are going to do the reminder later for the payment, the check payments, okay. payment mm -hmm. failure at the bank, like a re, uh, return, uh, payment return, tax determination. So everything you will learn in this FICA training. Okay. So let me come to the slide. Mm -hmm. So this is the core concept of ISU. So whenever you, whenever we learn FICA, just imagine that uh, you are a, you are a customer, okay, of any utility mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. Suppose you are a, you are a electricity consumer or water consumer, okay, or a gas consumer. Okay. So you know we all mm -hmm. are electricity consumer. We in our home the there is a meter, and every every month the meter reading take place and based on that the bill comes 
to us and mm-hmm. we do the payment right yeah so mm-hmm. in this way if you consider yourself then you will be able to understand in much better way okay okay so first mm-hmm. first understanding fica will not fulfill the requirement we need to understand what is the uh, what is the uh, basic core concepts of isu industries okay so suppose okay, okay. you are a consumer you can see my screen right yeah i can see your con- screen okay. so suppose you are a consumer okay mm-hmm. right here and you live in a home or in any any mm-hmm. apartment okay this is the example okay. of apartment okay so okay. there are not a one apartment there are uh, many apartments apartment 1 apartment 2 apartment 3 okay so for mm-hmm. this building mm-hmm. what electricity uh, uh, this electricians will do they will provide a connections right yeah yeah from a pole or something uh, something pole from uh, from the gated society or something else okay so from there the mm-hmm. connection will be provided so once yeah. that connection is provided that will be called a connection object mm-hmm. okay so once connection is given then in every apartment right mm-hmm. every apartment does not have the uh, meters right sometimes what we yeah. see in uh, in the society we see all the meters are in the basement right yeah yeah it is not on the each and every flat okay mm-hmm. similarly yeah. in the apartment maybe there might be the uh, location of all the meter is the common location or maybe it is based on the apartment wise okay mm-hmm. so suppose this is your apartment apartment 1 okay mm-hmm. this is the basement mm-hmm. where a device is fixed device means meter meter okay, okay. at this device to is for apartment 2 okay. okay understand like that this device 2 is for apartment 2 yeah. and once this device and apartment is linked then mm-hmm. through the sap process we create a installation okay, okay. once that installation mm-hmm. is created installation is it is not a physical thing, okay which you can see you can see apartment mm-hmm. you can see yeah. the device device means meter okay but mm-hmm. installation mm-hmm. is a technical thing it stay in the system sap system okay okay this installation mm-hmm. will connect you mm-hmm. through a, a master data kind called contract account mm-hmm. and contract okay. okay okay this installation okay. is linked to contract and this contract is linked to contract account and this contract account mm-hmm. is linked to business account okay so okay. understand the mm-hmm. the the flow okay you as a consumer yeah. will act as a business partner mm-hmm. so business partner is again linked to a contract account mm-hmm. contract account is linked to contract mm-hmm. and contract is linked to installations so this okay. is uh, this is one way flow right okay similarly suppose you are this is a flow of electricity uh, customer okay the customer who are mm-hmm. using electricity might be you are <coughs> okay. using some other, other services as well like gas connection in your home mm-hmm. as well okay from other mm-hmm. company so for gas connection okay. as well there will be a meter right there will be mm-hmm. installation there will be a contract there will yeah. be a contract account and a business partner okay okay suppose you are using mm-hmm. a water connection in your home so similarly for water yeah. there will be a, a device the meter the installation yeah. the contract and the contract <coughs> okay so in the nutshell we can say that whenever we use any services utility mm-hmm. services the first thing is required
ఇవేందుకు బాబు మంది రావట్లేదు హలో హలో యా ఎనీ ప్రాబ్లం ఆ రాలేదండి ఆ మధ్యలో ఆయన వాయిస్ పెయింట్ ఇప్రైన ఆ ట్రైనర్ కూడా లేరు యా వన్ సెకండ్ ట్రైనర్ ఉన్నారండి కాల్ లో అమిత్ కెన్ యు ప్లీజ్ రెస్పాండ్ ఆ ఐ థింక్ హి ఇస్ ఇన్ మ్యూట్ హి విల్ కమ్ బ్యాక్ లలిత yeah okay i um, in between now i can't hear his voice uh, for few minutes no no he is in mute i think he will come back okay okay హలో హలో లలిత సారీ ఐ వాస్ డిస్కనెక్టెడ్ am i audible now okay okay that's what yeah yeah you are out that's what i am wondering is there any problem from my end okay okay no problem okay. i am sharing my screen okay 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 hmm you can see right yeah yeah i can see now okay so yes so whenever we start any utility services utility services means mm-hmm. electricity gas water mm-hmm. or mobile telecom okay this comes under mm-hmm. utility services mm-hmm. so so the concept is same in sap the the master data setup or the device setup the apartment setup everything is same the con- the flow mm-hmm. looks like same okay mm-hmm. and we we see on the regular basis right how it happens the yeah. you know bill comes and we pay the payment and everything but yeah actually it looks simple but when we go to the in detail that is vast mm-hmm. okay so yeah. generally see this in one box uh, there are many things apartment device installations contract contract account business partner yeah. so in this fica training in this fica training we will be seeing all this terminology every time okay Okay. not the device every time but contract the business partner contract account contract mm-hmm. and installations mm-hmm. whenever we perform anything we will see this business partner contract account and contract every time okay in fica okay okay so we need to understand very well in detail what is business partner the account and the contract installations mm-hmm. and device 
and apartment this comes under different module okay this comes under okay. uh, the device management and mainly billing team deals with installation and everything okay, okay. this is a, this is not our task but at least to have a okay. clear picture on that uh, mm -hmm. we 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 at least know what is installation and device okay okay mm -hmm. so generally apartment is also called the premise in sap okay mm -hmm. okay so there is no difference between premise and apartment in sap that that is same okay okay mm -hmm. now so generally this this whole setup is divided into uh, technical master data and business master data okay okay so the mm -hmm. business master data are like business partner the contract mm -hmm. account and the contract okay okay and the technical master data comes under installations device the apartment connection objects these are the technical technical master data okay okay mm -hmm. now let me give overview of, about uh, the business partner so you are aware about the mm -hmm. uh, you are have, you are you having something about this utility uh, module right how it mm, not really least, yeah because i am mm. new to this concept okay okay so yeah so I, I i will be very happy if you if you if you ask any questions anytime okay 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 it's not like okay because this training is for you so you have full right to yeah, ask yeah. any questions anytime okay sure sure mm. yeah, okay so uh, let me know which terminology you have seen uh, in uh, your project more have you seen business partner <clears throat> no no FSC, i, I didn't start at it i haven't even started at okay, this one okay 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 got it okay no problem okay mm -hmm. so okay so <coughs> now we we the isu i will open a notepad okay So this ISU actually, this SAP has developed ERP mm -hmm. software. Okay. okay. Now SAP continuously develop the software and do some uh, releases, provide different different product on the ERP mm -hmm. every time every release. Okay. okay. And they give mm -hmm. they provide different different tools as well. So under okay. ERP, they have many core modules like FICO, MM, SD. Okay. Uh, okay. BIBW. Yeah. BIBW ABAP. Yeah. So <clears throat> these are very common terms. Everybody knows what are FICO, MM, SD because they, we have a lot of things available on the internet for this module. Yeah. But for FIC, mm -hmm. which is the which is the module uh, provided by SAP to overcome some of the drawbacks in FICO and MM and SD module, which they cannot handle mm -hmm. the utility based scenario. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Normally we have automobile industries, we have medical industries, we have clothing okay. industries, okay, mm -hmm. manufacturing industries. So they are using these modules, MM, SD, okay. FICO, PIBW. Yeah. And they are running their business very fine but the mm -hmm. utility industries mainly like you know electricity company insurance yeah. company mm -hmm. uh, water company water company in the press the gas company okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so see majorly electricity industries are widely sub providing their services in india okay every home has yeah. electricity yeah. connections right yeah but mm -hmm. the water industry is not much uh i mean to say in the rural rural areas they are limited to urban areas okay mm -hmm. and yeah. similarly gas industry in the few metro cities the the gas connections are actually provided we are not using yeah. cylinder they are just providing the gas supply through pipeline okay yeah mm -hmm. right so 
SAP has developed this ISU. Mm -hmm. I am not going to hear when they develop or something. Even I don't know. So this ISU mm -hmm. they have provided. Sorry. They have provided to overcome. Certain... Can you share your notepad, please? Ah, uh, notepad. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it is not visible. No, 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 not visible because that main screen is visible, not the notepad. Okay. <clears throat> Entire screen. So, yeah, ISU, uh, sorry, ISU we have provided, SAP has provided to overcome certain drawbacks, which basically FICO MMSD cannot provide for angle of utility industries. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yeah. Now, this ISU module mm -hmm. has, is not only FICO, it has ISU CRM. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. ISU PM, we can say device management. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we can say ISU billing and mm -hmm. more ISU FICA. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so it has various models crm device management billing fica so we will learn fica here okay okay, okay. Mm -hmm. but at least we should know the what is crm device management billing and fica device okay. the crm is nothing but a front end okay okay which is actually for customers informations customers mm -hmm. call centers Okay, the call mm -hmm. centers executives in the industry are using mm -hmm. ISU CRM for providing certain okay. information to the customer. Okay, so okay. you know that when, when you have some billing complaints, right, you call to electricity yeah. department call centers, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so those agents actually have the <laughs> CRM access. They can access the oh. customer information, they can do the billing information, everything, okay. and they can provide certain support to the customer. This device management is the module which actually deals with the device setup, okay? Like your meter, okay. mm -hmm. meter fault, okay. meter changes, mm -hmm. device is connected at the home or not, okay? These things will be handled under device management, okay? Okay. ISU billing. ISU billing generally handles with the billing of the generating the billing of the consumed electricity okay so okay. when in the whole month whatever electricity we consumed it will recorded in the, into the form of unit right yeah so these unit are chargeable so based on this unit yeah. this billing model what happens under this billing model this billing model generates the bill for that customer okay yeah mm -hmm. And once that bill is generated, the FICA module, what it does, it, it actually generates the invoice. Okay. On the base of this, on the base of this billing document, which is generated in the okay. billing module. Okay. So FICA generate, generates the invoice, and after generation of the invoice, we have a lot of more processes based on this mm -hmm. invoice. Okay, like invoice okay. corrections, also. Mm -hmm. uh, invoice reversal, the dunning, the installment, mm -hmm. submit to collection agency. I will I will explain you when we come to the training. What are these things? Okay, these okay, are the okay, list, okay. Uh, basic list. Okay. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. So these things. Now I will come to the slide again. Okay. So, so as I said that business partner, this uh, <coughs> business partner, business partner is nothing but a customer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Suppose you, myself. Okay. In your home, the business, mm -hmm. uh, the the connection is on your father's name. So your father mm -hmm. is a business partner. Okay. okay. In SAP, mm -hmm. actually, we need to use some common terminology, which is used widely. SAP says okay. this customer as a business partner. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. so every time if I say business partner, just treat it as a customer. Okay. Okay. In the perspective of utility, utility industries. Utility industries. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. It mm -hmm. might be vendor. I will come to that, that point as well. Mm -hmm. But generally, it is customer. Okay, okay. Second thing is contact account. So whenever we create a business partner in SAP system, mm -hmm. a contact account creation is a must. Okay. Now you will say uh, why we have created business partner, why we need to create the contact account. Yeah. See, business when we create a business partner, this business partner has okay. some physical information of that customer okay? Okay. physical informations like his name mm -hmm. address telephone number yeah postal code mm -hmm. city area country mm -hmm. district any yeah. id like aadhar number or any pan number Mm -hmm. or social security number or uh, passport mm -hmm. okay so these are the some information about the business partner about the customer so That's business right. partner holds the information about the customer okay, okay. now mm -hmm. when business partner is created mm -hmm. it's time to create the contact account so contact okay. account is actually does not hold the customer informations okay okay it only holds the technical information of the business partner and mm -hmm. organization okay. okay how this contact account technical information i will give example suppose a mm -hmm. customer is using the the con uh, is uh, opting for a new electricity connections okay so mm -hmm. a business partner will be created on his name and okay. another contact account uh, contact account will be, will be created but customer says that hey i am not uh, uh, whenever you send me a bill okay mm -hmm. you directly mm -hmm. you directly deduct the amount from my bank account whenever you okay. you send the bill to me you directly uh, deduct the account from my bank account mm -hmm. Okay. Suppose you are a customer mm -hmm. and you say to, uh, which is the electricity company in your area? In her area, it's the um, local. Uh, it's the government one. Government I say, one. Bro, okay. no, this which, but, yeah. which state? Which state? It's the South Africa Gauteng ah, province. It's the Gaut province one. South Africa. Yeah, it's the South Africa province one. Oh. Johannesburg okay. province. So, uh, so in your area, you say to the uh, company that, uh, hey, uh, I'm not going to pay uh, pay through online or mode or cash mode. You just mm -hmm. you just deduct the amount from my bank account. Okay. So what? So these all informations. Mm -hmm. Like how customer will pay, okay? Mm -hmm. What is customer intention to pay? How customer will be send the reminding letter? This all are the okay. technical information will be stored at the contact account level, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. There yeah, are yeah. many more technical information mm -hmm. but I cannot cover in the whole session. Just for mm -hmm. your understanding, I am giving one example. Okay. okay. Once contact account is created, 
then again another tech master data will be created that is a contract so contract okay. is nothing but a kind of services you are using okay okay suppose you are using electricity services then it is a electricity contract if you are using water services then it is a water contract so it generally yeah. denotes the services of the business partner okay right so these things are mandatory yeah. you cannot uh, skip any any of them in the if if i see okay in that okay. okay so this all three together comes under business master data okay because customer should know how i am going to pay and organization mm-hmm. also should know how they are going to pay what is the address of the customer what are the services they are using mm-hmm. everything we can see in the business master data okay okay now as i said that installations and premises are also master uh, master data but they comes under technical master data okay so okay. we will not go mm-hmm. under that because these are these belongs to different module okay if i come to my okay. previous slide installations mm-hmm. and device these both together and premises comes under billing and dm module okay, okay. we had discussed right mm-hmm. billing and device management oh, yeah yeah for us business partner contract and contract accounts are the master data we use every time got it yeah yeah hmm. okay now yeah fine now next slide now you 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 didn't ask a questions that uh, a business partner can have uh, two contract account or can have three contract account okay mm mm-hmm. so it is possible right a business partner mm-hmm. can okay. have multiple contract account that is one to one relationship okay got it it is mm-hmm. not way that a business partner is only having one contract account there is no restrictions he can have n number of a contract account okay okay and one contract account has having one contract mm mm-hmm. okay then it will be the duplication one contract no? where duplications Uh, if you have multiple like, contracts if the business partner have multiple no, contract account then it, then it will be a duplication no no duplicacy a business partner can have multiple contract account but the the contract accounts are different uh, means uh, they are not the same right mm-hmm. suppose i will give example suppose i am giving i am creating a business partner suppose say names james okay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this james having contact account say number we, we can say any number like uh, uh 345 okay 3456 okay and this business mm-hmm. partner can have another contact account say 1234 okay okay but the james business partner is same his number is suppose in the system is 901 okay just taking the example to understand okay, okay so yeah. sap generally does not understand the any system in the world does not understand the text they only run based mm-hmm. on the number right okay okay so so whenever we create a business partner there will be a number to identify the mm-hmm. business partner na similarly when you okay. create a contract account a contract account number number will be created into the system not only the text okay. mm mm-hmm. got it my point yeah 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 i got it so <clears throat> so this business partner 901 having multiple mm-hmm. contract account 456 and 1234 but mm-hmm. this contract account is for different services suppose this contract account is for uh, suppose my home Mm-hmm. Home connection. 
and this contract account is for my shop transaction okay i can okay. create another contract account it is for my suppose uh, 8956 it mm -hmm. is for my school okay. suppose i have one school okay there also i have yeah. one uh, electricity connection connection okay got it yeah yeah okay now one contract account can have one contract multiple multiple contract okay. possible but at this one time only one active contract is possible okay okay mm -hmm. so one contract account can have multiple contract but mm -hmm. on one time there will be only one active contract okay if they okay. have three contracts then the the two will be deactivated and mm -hmm. one will be activated got my point okay okay mm -hmm. i will i will explain that in when it comes to okay but generally okay. Let, let's understand that one contract account having one contract but okay. every time okay one contract that is one to one okay, okay. here okay. also one contract has one contract got it okay yeah so we we understood that what is business partner what is contract account but mm -hmm. we we uh, we are not able to understand what is contract actually so i will show into the system sap system so it will be more mm -hmm. uh, helpful for you to understand okay so okay. i am logging sure. into the sap system okay mm -hmm. for um, for to demonstrate the business partner and contract and contract then it will okay. be uh, really good for us to understand So let me sure. log in into the SAP system. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay.
हाई मेहता मे डी प्रेजेंटर ट्राई टू शे या Okay, I I got it. Fine, right? I yeah. See. Yeah. So, uh, let me know if if uh, you can see. Yes, great. Lalita, you can see, right? Yeah, I can see the screen. Okay, okay, done. <clears throat> so so uh, lalita so as you can see mm-hmm. this is command prompt okay can you enlarge the screen right. make it bigger okay Lalita, uh, can you try from your side to maximize it? Um, I think uh, I think I can't manage it because he's sharing the screen, no? I mean, uh, the appearance from go to meeting app. Are you able to see it very small? Yeah, it's a bit small. Okay, but okay, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, we will check. We'll check up later. Yeah, yeah. For now, we'll go ahead. Okay. I think, uh, Sai, it is working. Uh, it is not working on the Zoom. If we click on the Zoom button, just beside the screen. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I am able to see uh, as a full you screen only. You can see. Yeah, yeah I can see as a full screen. Oh, if I it is manageable, we'll continue. Lalita, is it manageable for now? Yeah, is it? It's manageable for now. Yeah, yeah. We will see for uh, during the chat system. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. So, uh, Lalita. So, for uh, you know, for creation of business partner, mm-hmm. we use the transaction DP. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So, I think it is not visible here. The There is one box on the top side. Just put B mm-hmm. and P. B and so as you okay. click on B and P, this is screen comes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Now I am I am not creating any business partner. I am using the existing one. Okay. okay. So I am just searching any existing business partner. Mm-hmm. Suppose this one. Okay. Okay. So you yeah. can see that there is one business partner number on the top side. Yeah. Okay. One zero 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 three four. So through yeah. this number, actually, the business partner is identified. Okay. Now, system has identified the a business partner. Now I want to see his or her tech uh, address details and names. Mm-hmm. Birth country, so you can see there is a name, mm-hmm. first name, last name, country. Mm-hmm. If we scroll down, district, postal codes, mm-hmm. city, country, yeah. time zone. so everything we can maintain here okay mm-hmm. there are few blank fields as well but because those those entries were not provided at the time of 
HTTP creation. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, you, if you scroll down more, you can see telephone number, cell phone, fax, email address, mm-hmm. everything you can okay. write. Okay, okay. Then, so these are very common things, like common uh, yeah. data for any mm-hmm. business partner. Even the address validity you can provide mm-hmm. from which address, from which date to which date you are actually uh, your uh, this address information is valid. Okay. 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 Now, if you if I go to the address overview, mm-hmm. I can see the address and its validity. Okay. okay. If I go to identification, I I I, I can see if you have the basic informations. Okay. Mm-hmm. Here. Uh, the ID type is not maintained here, uh, but mm-hmm. we can maintain any ID type. Suppose if I if okay. I see here, I can maintain any identity type. Okay. ID card, passport, legal entry number, employee ID, whatever. Okay. Mm-hmm. Got it? So okay. suppose I can maintain anything, passport number, so that mm-hmm. a business partner is uniquely identified mm-hmm. uh, to ID. Okay? okay. So generally what happens uh, when you go for electricity connections, then what will happen? They will ask for certain IDs, right? You will tell yeah. you will tell your name and um, I suppose I am uh, Lalita and uh, I want uh, electricity connection. So first thing they will ask any ID that yeah. yes, you are Lalita. Okay. Then only they will uh, yeah. entertain you. Without yeah. ID, nobody will entertain. So suppose you provide your passport or any identity issued by any government authority, you will provide that. So they will maintain yeah. that ID into your business partner. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. There are a few more, th- few things, but I think mm-hmm. uh, those are not required now. Okay. Because okay, uh, okay. that that is uh, rarely we use BP type and everything. If I explain you right okay. now, you will not be able to understand. Sure, sure. Uh, then I can provide the payment transactions details like uh, mm-hmm. like uh, the ID, the the country, the bank, the bank account number, control key. So these mm-hmm. things we also provide at the business partner level. Suppose you, you your bank account number in which city your bank account uh, branch lies. Okay, your bank account mm-hmm. number, everything mm-hmm. I will maintain. Okay. Next thing is status. A status generally denotes that whether this business partner is blocked, not released, okay. or archived. Okay. So generally, okay. if uh, that business partner is not in use, generally we click on mm-hmm. block, or okay, we generally okay. archive that business partner. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. But if they are in, they are active, then none of the flag will be checked. Okay. 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 Got it. So I yeah. think first three tags are important for you. Uh, first uh, four. One, two, okay. three, four, and five. Okay. Okay. These are the most important. And the rest are uh, something uh, <clears throat> we not to worry about that. Okay. These are the things mm-hmm. where we maintain and analyze the data. Okay. 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 So. What we understood from business partner that a business partner can have name, address, cell number, address validity, identifications, identifications the bank mm-hmm. informations, and a unique number to identify the business. Mm-hmm. Now, next thing is the role. Okay. Okay. So mm-hmm. this role is actually important in terms of utility industries. Okay. Mm -hmm. In utility industries, currently you can see only three roles, right? Partner, contact person, financial services. But for utility industries, we need a role called contract partner. Okay. Okay. This is Mm -hmm. actually designed by SAP and SAP says that whenever any business partner created, 
so you can mm -hmm. create that business partner in a contact partner role so that a okay. contact account can be created on that business partner okay mm -hmm. so until unless the role is contact partner we cannot create a contact account okay, okay. that is the restriction so currently there is no business partner i don't know but mm -hmm. we can create a role whenever we will be creating the contract account okay okay sure so, now i will go to the contract account the t code mm -hmm. for contract account is c a a 3 okay okay suppose i search any contract account suppose this one so this is also a number mm -hmm. right 10 digit or 10 yeah. digit i think or 12 digit okay yeah mm -hmm. you can see this is the contract mm -hmm. okay so you know mm -hmm. that this is business partner and this is the contract account number so business okay. partner is linked to the contract account here like that mm -hmm. okay Okay. Then we have a lot of technical information. I think you will not able to understand these informations, but I will tell mm -hmm. one payment income. Okay. okay. So contact account can have technical information and one important technical information is the company code. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. you know that what is company code, right? Yeah, every company has one code, company code. One code, right. So yeah. You are going to the electricity department. So electricity is department. Electricity is uh, the providing organization is also a company, right? Yeah. Right. They have also a company code, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. To to present the balance sheet and financial statement, they need a company code. So that company, company code is actually yeah. maintained here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this okay. contract account needs that company code. Because it is a mm -hmm. must here. Okay. Okay. No. I had given one example to you that as a customer, you say that, uh, hey, I, I uh, you deduct the payment directly from my account for uh, monthly mm -hmm. invoice. Okay. okay. So mm -hmm. I can set up the payment method here. Mm -hmm. Incoming payment method, outgoing payment method. So actually payment is going from my account, right? So I will set up some yeah. outgoing payment method here. Mm -hmm. okay. For that, currently there is no payment method. We mm -hmm. need to maintain that. So for that uh, uh, payment, for invoice payment, mm -hmm. that payment method mm -hmm. will be maintained here so that the SAP system knows that this customer is going to pay through direct debit process or outgoing payment method mm -hmm. process okay okay mm -hmm. see when we will see the uh, the real time uh, like uh, scenarios then it will be uh, it will be more uh, clear picture right so currently okay. we are just mm -hmm. seeing the screen and it will not help to understand much but when we will perform the transition actually in the system it will uh, you will be able to understand in more Okay. convenient way okay this is this is for display no tka3 is the is for display then for creating is tka1 uh, yeah a1 one right c double a1 right c double a1 okay mm -hmm. so generally sap has uh, has this uh, standard for creation yeah. generally they perform c1 for uh, changes creation. Perform, uh, they do two and mm -hmm. for uh, for display generally they have the three so suppose i have yeah. one transaction c double a one for creation mm -hmm. then you can yeah. uh, anticipate that c double a two will be for changes c double a three will be for display so this okay. is the standard uh, from sap generally it yeah. happens with the yeah. maximum of t codes okay 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 mm -hmm. then this contract account has another technical information mm -hmm. Okay, correspondence, how dunning procedure will be there. Okay. Everything. Okay. And this is for convergent okay. invoicing. This 
tab is added because uh, the new solution came for uh, from sap brim so that is relevant to brim only so we will not maintain okay. anything here for our piper training that we will left blank okay. but we will generally deal with general data payment taxes mm -hmm. and correspondence okay? Correspond, okay currently it is blank mm -hmm. because i think nobody has maintained that or data is not in the system so once mm -hmm. that is available we will be able to see the data let me yeah, check yeah, okay. uh, let me check some mm, no well is uh, no worries actually okay now next thing is contract Okay, it is currently the system is dumping. Mm -hmm. We will check what happened actually. It is currently giving dump. Okay. So you understood, right? What is business partner yeah, contract yeah. account? You yeah, have yeah. any doubt till now? You so can, you can ask it's any questions. Okay. Okay. Currently it's fine. Okay. Yeah. So I hope that this session was uh, useful for you. Yeah, thank you so okay, much. Eh? You understood the you understood the basic things, right? Yeah, yeah. So currently, which company you are working? Uh, maybe uh, few, um, in few um, maybe next week I'll come to know about that. Huh? They have some requirements, okay, so right, I'll come to know. Recently, I have completed my contract. That one in uh, SD, the one which I am working in SD. SD. So next week probably I will yeah. So recently I have completed mm -hmm. with that and I'm I'm looking for the they said that they have some FICA requirement. So maybe next mm -hmm. week or so I'll let I'll come to know regarding that. So I want to know I want to take the training in that because I don't know I don't have any idea this uh, with this uh, FICA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So okay. I want to take that one. Previously, I used to do with the Coca Cola right. one with that double MS SD. Mm -hmm. And I am done with the contract that one. Okay. So, where are you residing uh, nowadays? Like, uh... Currently, I am in Joburg, South Africa, Joburg, Johannesburg. South Africa, Johannesburg. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, actually, I was thinking you are in India. So, <laughs> I was. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I was but I think you understand right? how, how, yeah, uh, how the things, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I am from Hyderabad itself. Hyderabad, okay. We are from Hyderabad. And you are from Hyderabad itself? No, no, I am not from Hyderabad. Okay, okay. I am from okay. Uh, Indore. Indore, okay. Okay, thank you so much. Huh? I'll get back to Shravanti Sophie. Okay, okay, no problem. Thank you for yeah, your time. Thank you guys. Yeah, yeah.